years. Damn you, old man! Wait, wait. Old ass man. Shut up, old man. You smell like fart. No. Old man. Wait. He's so old, he got a podcast on cassette. Oh, fuck your old. Damn it, Wade. Hey, welcome to the Old Man Wade Show. I am your host, the God of Stubborn, the Lord of Laughter, the superior Old Man Wade, and I'm sitting here with the coast, the pinnacle of political perfection, Super Bowl Javi. What up, Old Man? And we have returning guests, even though it's only been about 15 seconds. No, before. stop breaking the fourth wall, Old oh, Man. Oh, my God bad. damn it. Um, we're, we're, it's been a week. It's been a week since we recorded, apparently. Uh, <laughs> state your name and your gangster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop <laughs> I don't know full transparency. What's happening, cats and kids? This is Pat B, host of the Geek Down on uh, Disrupt Boston. You can find us at geek-down.com. And I was nice enough to I was nice enough, I was nice enough to make an appearance. No, these cats were nice enough to have me here on the Old Man Wade Show to talk about my little my little uh, uh, publication and presentation and show and epic and broadcast. But basically, it's a geek culture and entertainment news podcast and radio show. Live broadcast, we talk about movies, music, comic, games, and general BS happening around the entertainment community. You can find us on Twitter, on Facebook, just search at The Geek Down or slash The Geek Down. Find us on SoundCloud at Geek Dash Down. Um, uh, iTunes, what am I neglecting? Uh, uh, Twitch, you can actually see uh, streams and stuff. We are all over the up. You can't get rid of us. Mm-hmm. And, of course, you can just go to geek-down.com for any of the good stuff like that there, including the links to our stuff. But... Wait, what is on the show? So, um, seeing as how we didn't really get into <laughs> anything dork related uh, the last episode, we had so many things and so many topics uh, dork related that we really wanted to get into that we just didn't get into Wait, it. Can I do it? Can I do it? I mean, we should probably before we, we should probably not do the whole time thing because this one might come out first. <laughs> Previously on the Old Man Wade Show. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? You were bored. And we'll just clip in like Professor Xavier. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> We've caught in the savage land. Oh, wait, let's go, Bob. Gene, no! <laughs> Don't take my baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what are some other random, <laughs> some random fucking noises from the X-Men cartoon? Uh, oh, um, it's not just probable. It's inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> you know the sound that, the two sounds that stick out to me the most? Cyclops optic blast. Yeah. That I can't do. Was... <laughs> and then Wolverine's shink. shink. Right, those are the two sounds. Oh, I got a good one. one. I got a good one. Winds of change. Arctic snow yeah, of yeah, the yeah. north. Uh, sands of Africa. Rain of Nigeria. <laughs> like, did she have to call so... that? Like, no. Did she have to call that? Man, Storm sounded like anytime you ever had like a born again Christian who just came from, like, <laughs> like, she just came from like her first Ren Fair. And now she just fully, she just fully immersed. She got <laughs> and that was that was that was um, Africa being filmed pre Black Panther, where all Africans had British accents. Yes, long before yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Had, you know what? You know what that influence though was there though. I blame Levar Burton as Kwame on uh, on Captain Planet, making every, uh, all, uh, all, Afri- all Africans sound exactly. The let same. our powers combine. Yeah, well, like, I, we, think not, was, we, I think he was. I think he was specifically from Kenya. And I think a lot of Kenyans have that kind well, of... Well, in every other show that featured yeah. an African character... Exactly. Exact, man... Are you uh, saying Americans are lazy with yeah, our, our racial depictions? the sign of Jebel Sag from uh, Conan, uh, the adventurer, same voice. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, me and my, 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 my brother in arm, my best friend Diddy, he, um, we always go, da 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 Gonad, the adventurer, <laughs> Gonad. <laughs> Not sack without fear. <laughs> are you guys looking? Are you looking into each other's eyes? While you're doing this? this is my question. <laughs> Do you end it with a strong, clasping <laughs> handshake? Hey man, that was a good. Well, no, well, that was a good show until it wasn't a good show. You know, it's funny, but it was one of the few shows that actually had an ending. Because well, cartoons never really got a real ending. Uh, I stopped watching. I stopped, I stopped watching when the, the apocalyptic future. 
that seems to be on most most shows take me out of it. Because someone's always, it goes full Joss Whedon. You ever seen these shows? I remember... Listen, um, I am oh a God. very big fan mm-hmm. of the Whedonverse. All right. Except for Dollhouse. I think I get the Dollhouse. All right. Well, not Joss so, Whedon directly. I mean, um, Joss Whedon-esque stuff. The same... Just watch, watch the, your mouth. Hey, man. Yo, Joss Whedon. Yo, fuck that dude. Are we um, fighting after this? <laughs> Uh, no, the same um, uh, tropes that Joss Whedon throws in that have become Whedon isms mm-hmm. uh, in every every one of his shows. That's kind of like, okay, this is when it's starting to go south. Someone's going to lose an eye. Someone's going to lose. Someone's going to lose a body part. Period. Uh, one of the prominent characters you've been made to like the whole time is going to die mm. quickly, unceremoniously, and it's going to stick. Like you know, four, of, like that. four or five of those things happened to Xander and Buffy. So yeah, yeah. yeah is it I'm trying to think of all the things that happened when um, he did uh, Astonishing X Men. I think a bunch of that actually did happen. Yeah. They actually stole a scene from Buffy and used it in Astonishing X Men. Was it the eye poke? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when um when Angel comes back from hell mm-hmm. and. Buffy's standing there, and Angel just like hugs around her waist, like but he's like on his knees. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They use that exact scene in the. They use that exact scene in the Astonishing X Men. Of course they. Do. I love Whedon's influence on Marvel, man. Like, well, he wrote that. He wrote yeah, that. Yeah, scene yeah. Himself, so. In the MCU as well, it, it, like a lot of his influences in the MCU. Yeah, Some I'm of the I'm parts not... of the Justice League that didn't suck. Yeah, I'm glad they. Bought... Oh, he also wrote. Let's not forget, um, X Men, the first movie. Wait, what? Uh, that one line. Um, oh, hold on! I'm gonna defend that line. That line. Well, I, I, I know what. I know the defense. The problem is that's that's the one line they used in a movie they completely rewrote, yet still uh, attributed to him as to why it sucked. Okay, so, so that is happening. Line. And the, okay, the I first, mean the audience who clearly doesn't know, and I understand it clearly. The first X Men like live action movie, the yeah. one where we we met Hugh Jackman as Wolverine yep, yep. for the first time, mm-hmm. and a Pac-Man as Rogue, all that. Stuff. One of the few good X Men movies that Fox made. Yes, actually, sadly, yeah, yeah. Um, was written by Joss Whedon. Makes sense. Uh, he was hired, penned the script, mm-hmm. had, from what I understand, an actual actually legit, you know, good script for mm-hmm. a movie. Is that why Cyclops didn't suck in that movie? Cyclops has kind of always sucked. No! Oh, come yeah, that's on, right. man. Making friends today. We'll come back to that. Let me Yo, finish, let me I am so quick. triggered right now. If I could quick. optic blast you, I would optic <laughs> blast you. Um, <laughs> what happened is uh, the studio scrapped his whole script, rewrote the whole thing, only kept literally one line from his original script. Really? Can you think of the worst line in the movie? Um, No. Okay. I, don't, I smoke a, okay yeah. fun fact about me uh-huh. I'm a geek that's very I'm a geek but it's very hard for me to recall words in things because I smoke a lot of weed alright well there's okay. one well the one line that pissed everyone off because it, it was kind of just a stupid random throwaway line is <clears throat> do you know what happened to a toad when it struck by lightning ah oh, well let me, let from me, the I'm, worst I'm, storm I'm, I'm gonna oh Jesus yeah. Christ I'm just gonna say this <laughs> if Angela Bassett yeah. Or I can't remember the name. Lawrence Fishburne's ex-wife. Um, oh, Gina, Gina Torres. Oh, Gina Torres, Gina Torres, Torres uh, had, delivered that, had delivered that line. Mm-hmm. It would it wouldn't have fell flat. But Holly Berry delivering that line, there was no like emotion. With her on again, off again, uh, half uh, with her on again, off again, Kwame accent. I'm just glad she got rid of it after that. She's a very. Okay. Let me be careful what I'm saying because I think she's a good actor, actress. I don't. I think she's a good actress. I think she's when the, she's in a role that fits her, she should stick to. Thrillers and horror movies. Yeah, Gothica. She killed that role in yes. Gothica. Um, the movie she did with Bruce Willis. Um, she was a reporter, I believe. I don't. Okay. okay. Well, well, well. Just to just to close out that last point, um, they thank you scrapped uh, Whedon's entire script yeah. except that one line. And the reason that line was in there at all was because in his original script, Perfect it was strangers. supposed to be like a running gag with uh, with with Toad, where every where every time Toad was on screen, he did something. It's like you know what happens when a Toad when a Toad does this. You know what happens when a Toad spits acid. You know what happens when a Toad kicks you in the face. You know, so so she was, was that was her quip. Yeah, she yeah. Was, she was mocking him. Where it's like he he was supposed to do that, and yeah. they were supposed to be like visibly annoyed the entire movie, yeah. and the audience probably too, so that when when they get there. Uh, and and she zaps him. The audience is gonna be like, "Oh!" And I was gonna be like, "Oh, oh, I see. This wasn't uh, just the thing that was pissing us off. We were meant to be pissed off because this, and that was supposed to be some ill shit. And instead, it was just this random dumb line so, that made no sense in the final movie. That kind of makes sense because again, the first X Men movie, mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. Right? Mm-hmm. 
there's a number of caveats to that. Mm-hmm. There weren't a lot of good comics. Sabretooth was so bad. Right? Yeah, it was so They're, new to us back yeah, then. Yeah, you know? like they actually. Oh wait, Cyclops actually has an optic blast, right? Like, yeah. you know, they actually casted Sabretooth. It's great. That, yeah, that dude, cat dude, Sabretooth is a deep character. Yeah, that dude, he barely spoke. He didn't do much besides like scream, scream for me. me. Yeah, you know, and that and that's like but, there's yeah. so much more they could have done with him. And I, I think that may have been casting because they, they, they no, they, but I think they casted a good. I think they casted a good saber. He, he didn't have good. a lot of. He looked yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think the dude was a wrestler. Um, I, his performance was 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 terrible. You know who was a good saber too? Who? Uh, and I, I, I really hate to put any kind of praise on this movie, but did you see Wolverine Origins? Lee, Lee Shriver was amazing. Lee Shriver was that a movie great was good. Saber-tooth. It's yeah. just there was yeah. just a lot bad with it. Yeah. Um, the, um, the, the script, so Deadpool, uh, one of the main ones. Uh, Wade there Wilson. was no Deadpool. There was no Deadpool in that movie. There was Ryan Reynolds as Wade Wilson. Yeah, that, that, so I don't remember. That, that, I don't remember that Deadpool in that movie at all. <laughs> um, so I, I remember a bad experiment. I remember a character, right? At least on the credits, it's. It, I think it said Deadpool. Nah, nope. it does not. Did nah, it just say Deadpool on the credits? No. Nah. Nope. I know it didn't look anything like the character. It didn't do anything. Like it, oh, it pretty much I, I, shitted I, I, all I, I, over I know, what the character I, I meant. I know where you're confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that one dude at the beginning who was named Wade Wilson and, yeah. did, and did like a quick... No, no, he Wilson was Wade Wilson. Stuff. He was Wade Wilson. Yeah. That character see, was Wade is, Wilson. But see, they had him yeah. costumed in Deadpool colors, so I can see how you might be confused that yeah. Deadpool was in that movie. Yeah. But no, there was no hide, no hair of Deadpool anywhere near that. No, no, no. Movie. Okay, I got you, I got you. So Wade Wilson actually disappeared after they went to... Yeah, it was kind of weird Weapon the way that, that happened. That happened that oh, interesting. That out. Yeah, that's a twisted thing. Right. And I'm sorry for losing the audience here. I'm just going to do a quick... A very quick explainer that so one of the many sins Wolverine Origin committed was creating a quote unquote Deadpool character with no mouth. No mouth. He was like. Could someone please explain? Size, give me. He was Baraka from Metal Mortal Kombat. What is one than, of Deadpool's nicknames? The mark with the mouth. What's the one thing they took away from him? The mouth. I've said this a million times, and I'll probably this will be a million and one. I thought when I saw the the swords coming out of there, out of his hands in the um in the previews, yeah. in my mind as a huge Deadpool fan, I thought what they were gonna do was he was gonna fight Wolverine, he was gonna go time out, and he was gonna run and duct tape swords to his hands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was, I thought that, that would have actually been kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I that would have been all right. And then when he is like, I'm watching, so I'm like, all right, okay. And then he pops the swords, and I'm like, what? And, like, people were hitting me up on, because this is, I remember people would hit me up going, I thought you said Deadpool was cool. I'm like, that was not Deadpool. Mm. I was like, that is not Deadpool. Everything you saw from him in the beginning was Deadpool. Everything after that, ignore it. All right, so let's just say Ryan Reynolds fixed all that. There's a real Deadpool movie. We don't need to talk about that anymore. I even forgot the point we were trying to make, but we were talking about Wolverine Origin. <laughs> we were talking about who's a good saber too. Yeah, we were yeah. talking about the casting in the original in the um, two thousand. Damn, what year was it? Two thousand one. One. Damn! Wow! I didn't realize it. Two thousand. How old is Captain Picard? God <laughs> damn! Yo. Yo, oh, shit. Are they bringing him back? That dude has. Oh, that dude has an age is. since. Um, Star Trek: The Next Generation. He's been old which, forever. Which, yeah, but that that should be a compliment. But remember, he was old in Star Trek: The Generation. Well, so was Morgan Freeman. He was like he was, he was twenty three years old. You believe that? He was so, twenty three years old, bald, as, bald, bald. So him and Morgan Freeman were born in the same hospital. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, they were both born at the same tree stump. <laughs> Morgan Freeman, Morgan next Freeman. to a radio, next to a freaking nuclear reactor, like some shit. Like. No, there was no, there was, there were no words when they were born. They were just grunts. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan, Morgan Freeman is Vandal Savage. That's what's going on. Mm. Um, yeah, I forgot the original, original point we were trying to make. You're right. Oh, um, the Joss Whedon script. Yeah. So Damn. Everybody, you know, I, I forgot who Vandal Savage was for a second, so I had to Google it, and now I'm laughing. That's great. Oh. That, <laughs> you know, that was, that was the perfect yeah, you, analogy. You be getting in your DC bag, so yeah, pretty soon, yeah, how are you going to, you know? I should have said a Highlander. It's more, it's, yeah. it's quicker to pick up. Um, oh, speaking of which, he hasn't aged either. Highlander? Um, Sean oh, Connery. Adrian Paul, yeah, you're right. Damn. Uh, Sean Connery, he, he, he did it right, though. You know, he said, I'm retiring at this point. He retired mm-hmm. at that point and, like, stayed out. Did he smack a young lady before he did it? Uh, no, no, I think he got that out of his system oh, beforehand. Got out of uh, his he system. Came, he came closer. 
They, they gave him vampire women. He, he I feel always. like he's still smacking young ladies. Like, uh, I feel like he's the one person on earth that gets away with that shit. Like, uh, who was the dude in the 80s with smart, the though. really prominent mustache? Uh, Burt Reynolds. Burt, are we sure Burt Reynolds isn't Sean Connery from the past? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. When we think about it now, but I, I don't know. He did. It's like... Or is he? Burt Reynolds? Is he? The or mustache, did, or is, def- the mustache or, is definitely still alive. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Is no he Burt dead Reynolds or is he dead? dead? The mustache is looking for a no, new no, host. No, no, Are we sure Burt Reynolds isn't dead? He just um, time traveled. Oh, it's, it's the, it, it, yeah. He, he just he just went through the quickening. That's what's going yeah. on there. Okay, got a British accent or Scottish? I don't know. You know what? Henry Cavill in, in that last uh, Mission Impossible movie had the mustache. Damn, that's why they were movie. Are they all the same movie. Damn. Are Henry Cavill, Sean Connery, and Burt Reynolds the same person? I can see it. I can see it. It's either that or, uh, or um, damn, what's his name? I've met him, a boy. Uh, damn, from, fuck. I'm like, my, y'all can't see it on the, <laughs> on the podcast. I'm miming, like, all of, all of, I'm pantomiming all, like, his movie character things. Last of the Mohicans, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis. Because mm. you want to, you want to, you want a mustache that'll fall into that, into that, like, cod right there. Yeah, so before we start getting Daniel even more obscure actors. Yeah, Daniel Day-Lewis is not obscure, man. That dude's, he's been around. He's been in a lot of stuff. Yeah. But he's just one of those guys that just... He's in a lot of stuff, but you don't really think about him? He's one, yeah, he's one of those guys. He picks his role, and then he fades away. He's like, I'm going to do this sign in my mind, and then, you know... Sign of a good actor. All right, Pete. Let's talk some comic books, man. All right, so what do you guys want to start with first? Our favorite and most overrated characters, or, we, or do you want to get into the Netflix canceling shit first? So are we doing overrated characters, favorite characters of all time, or of the last year? Uh, let's do the last year, just to keep it a little... um. Centered. Mm-hmm. All right. I guess, will... cho- guess, just guess choice. Okay. Overrated. Um, I definitely will say Thanos. Overrated because uh, in the comics, I've followed. I've been. I've always been a DC guy. Mm-hmm. But one of the few things I've liked about Marvel is that it extends beyond. It's always extended beyond uh, Earth being like the center of the universe and shit. So Marvel, even though I even openly derided it before we started recording today, uh, the cosmic universe, because it gets really Shakespearean and kind of literally Shakespearean, where everyone speaks like you know, Teddy and 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 then even hey, the, you don't the make fun of Norrin Rattle. Okay? I will, I will again and again. This dude, you played his game, his game on Genesis. It sucked. Um, it's better than the Superman the, game. <laughs> oh, the, I will not hear any blasphemies about that. The PS One. Uh, uh, Superman game? I'm talking about the... What's the, it, the, the N64, N64 one. N64 Superman where, where game. It's like Chibi Superman running around the city. It's no, that no. and E.T. Two worst games of all time. <laughs> nah, there was... Um, um, the... Uh, the uh, we're going to go on a whole tangent. So <laughs> like, all right. Um, uh, the cosmic universe has always been pretentious. But the fact that it exists mm-hmm. and it doesn't paint Earth or at least Earth 616 as the center of like all the all the universes, all the multiverses, etc. It wasn't afraid to branch out and explore and create characters like the Silver Surfer, which didn't necessarily didn't even necessarily have to be involved in Earth to have like legitimate storylines and actually have an impact on the universe there. The Guardians of the Galaxy from back in the day. Oh uh, freaking Oh my god, the old Guardians like, of the Galaxy was trash. Uh like I'll, I'll give it as due because mind you, like read, reading that stuff as like a as like a, 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 an eight year old kid, uh, you know, this was like this was magical to me. I'm like, okay, so I can watch um, uh, friggin' uh, Superman uh, go to the hood, you know, for the uh, for the fourteenth time, and white the white guy save the black people in their impoverished community and such. Even though he that was surprisingly one of the more progressive ones because. Um, freaking uh, Flash wasn't going to the hood until the mid nineties. You know what I'm saying? DC has a very troubling past with black characters. Yes, they r- do. Relative to Marvel. what was the one yes, when they um, do, but yeah. they did uh, uh, Lois Lane. <laughs> Lois Lane. Oh, when she turns black. Yes. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep supporting DC. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, it's not make without, comic books great again. It's not DC. without its problems. Hey man, don't hate on my red hat. <laughs> Uh, but no, Marvel always had that. Marvel Marvel went beyond. It's just like mm. I'm not limited in the stories. Where it's like, how long? What are the re- okay? This is gonna be this is gonna be a hard um, comparison to make. But if someone gets what I'm saying, it'll be worth it. It's like one of the reasons I'm not into like Christian music and gospel music. Mm. It's because it's themed music. Mm-hmm. It's not a genre. It's a it's a it's a theme. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like 
cool. I grew I grew up. I go to church. You know, I, I'm I'm in, I'm in the you know my religion. And I, I feel like a spiritual connection. Cool. All this music that's supposed to be uh, 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 in the same realm is all about you know God. Jesus, stuff beating you in the head. It's like, yo, I get it. Can we just have some good music? And the thing is, so I'm just not a fan of that music. Same thing. It's just like I can walk, I can read comics that are around the exact same themes, or I can go to the ones that are giving me new types of new types of stories, not just different stories involving the exact same well, three to five characters. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? let's let's take a then, shout out. And then why Thanos? Yeah. Um, get back to the original point. Why Thanos is overrated is because. By that same concept and principle, they've introduced so many interesting characters, huge threats, like new heroes and new abilities and all, all like possibilities. Mm. And yet now in the, in, the, in, the, in the cinematic universe, everyone's been all about Thanos, where it's like we know about Thanos and he's the, the main, the first big threat, mm -hmm. but he should be the first not the main and the only. And that's the thing. Everything is painted him as the only and the biggest. Mm -hmm. As Guardians, they have like creatures that have even been shown in the movies that blow fa that should blow Thanos out of the water. And they've they've barely touched on him. You know? Mm -hmm. Um anything involving like the source wall, any any storylines bringing in like living tribunal, all this stuff. Okay, back to that ego. Yeah, we. Uh, Isn't it Source Wall DC? Yeah, wow. I, you would know better than Source Wall is DC, I believe. Source Wall is DC? Yeah. Shit. Source Wall is DC. Who got called the Source Wall? Yes, my bad. Source Wall, because All Father got caught in Source Wall. My bad. But, um, and you know why I got tripped up too? Odin? Oh, uh, Father? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no, no. I got tripped up. Well, yes. But well, got, Source Wall is no longer an issue in DC right now, but we keep. Yeah, but I got tripped up because um, in the uh, in the last DC vs. Marvel crossover, uh, Doctor Doom got caught in the Source Wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, oh, that's, that's, throw back. Uh, play myself. Yeah. All right. Well, 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 what I'm getting at is, though, um, they've presented much bigger threats and it even showed them in the, in the, in the movies. Yet it's all been eclipsed by this one character, and that's the thing that com the comics do that have always bugged me. It's always, oh, this one thing is the biggest threat ever, and stuff. It's like I like ground level vi uh, heroes and their stories because, yo, know, Batman has a rogues gallery. Joker's gonna do some fucked up shit. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna make that. That doesn't make Two Face any less dangerous. I, 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 I see. I see old man right over now. here. I see old man over here shaking. Right, because right, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I, I, I've been talking no, no, for a long no, time. No, 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 no. Um, jump, jump in. Please. So I'm gonna say this: like, I, I'm, I, I like Marvel and DC equally. Like, uh, I, I, I'm on record saying that I like them for two different reasons. Like, I can, I can, cont I can contest uh, some of the things you were saying. But uh, I don't, uh, oh uh, man, do you want to? Uh, do you want to handle I, I, I see where you're going, real quick, just for the yeah. sake of the recording. TLDR: I think Thanos is the most overrated. No, I wasn't checking anything. I was just listening. Yeah. I was writing down. Um, so go, go, do you think? Bro, you got nine pieces of notes. You were listening. So. Well, let me let me <laughs> let me just say again. Yeah. No hate on DC, mm -hmm. but you came after my dude Thanos, man. That's right. You can't come after my guy. Talk about right. overrated characters and no, who I no, consider overrated. No, no, man. no, no. That's but I understand. And I think I think that's based on, um, on an understanding that somebody that focuses primarily on DC, right? All right. Right. Um, understands Marvel a lot, but I think focuses primarily on DC. Okay. I think it's for a long time, even before the MCU, right? Thanos has been a central big bad. He hasn't always been the most powerful, right? But I like to equate him to like, if if Marvel had a Batman, Thanos would be that Batman. It's just that he's fucking evil. So Thanos has always been that character that he never really loses, right? He has he, a, and he's also Harvey pointed this out yeah. um, a few months ago on the podcast. Thanos has a very under <clears throat> Thanos has a very underrated scientific mind. Yeah. All right. So and that's the thing. They so, have not really presented that in the in the in the in the uh, motion in the cinematic universe. So they're 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 they're, bring, they're and again like there's with the introduction of Captain Marvel mm -hmm. coming in with the introduction of the Kree Scroll War, with the introduction of the Time Stone, the Infinity Stones, all that stuff. Like there's with the acquisition of Fox, right? Properties. There's a lot that can. Can, that, that's gonna happen. So what Marvel does with their big events, they're doing that right now. And Old Man wrote a pretty good article about that with with characters to look for uh, this year. Um, and a lot of these characters, a lot of what we're looking forward to is revolving around what's called the War of the Realms, 
Jason Aaron, great writer, he's creating this epic storyline. That started three, he had a plan to see like three years ago when he made Jane, no longer than that. Actually. Longer than that, I think it was God Butcher, right? Like we talked about that one of our episodes, so like. It's all one storyline. It's all, we, so man, we'll say, it's um, yeah. So the God Butcher series started in, wow, 2013. Yeah. So 2013, Jason Aaron started his run as the writer for, um, Thor. Mm. In 2014, he wrote a series called Original Sin. Mm. So in 2013, um, 2015, the beginning of the year, uh, they established Jane Foster as the as. Actually, no, before that, before Original Sin, Malekith came into play, mm. and he started his run as trying to. Malekith, the Dark Elf, who's at. We're coming to find out is orchestrating and has been orchestrating this stuff since 2013. It seems like orchestrating this epic battle, right? So this is how Marvel works. So and we talked about this before. So with Marvel events, there's tons of different side books involved in it, right? And it's really hard to get a full grasp, even for people that read Marvel all the time, right? Like there's a lot of events that I probably only read like 50% of the books involved because there's so much so much going on, right? Mm -hmm. With that said, so there's so many characters, so many interwoven storylines, right? It's it's easy to get lost. Ever since um, Infinity Gauntlet, no, before Infinity Gauntlet, the the cube, <sighs> whatever, Cosmic Cube, Cosmic cube the, right? The Tesseract cube. No, the Cosmic Cube. So like, All right. ever since <clears throat> Thanos was first introduced, right? He's been. Even if you don't see him working, right? He's been a central character in all these little stories, right? Or if he's not a central character, especially in this this War of the Realms thing, when he steps in, like he he was in, he he made a cameo in one of the Thor runs, right? He comes in and he's one of these characters, right? That no map no not Thor, not to some extent Odin, some of these characters, all of them show him respect. So he's been a character. I know this is a long tangent to make this point, but Thanos. We don't, he's not always highlighted, but he's always been a powerhouse. And he's always been one of the most powerful characters in the universe. And in a lot of stories, he's like the ultimate victor Because like even, in the end. He's one of those guys who, yeah. and because I don't really, I'm not really big on cosmic events either. But there was one, um, people didn't like, but I loved, Annihilation. And Thanos put some stuff together to trap Galactus. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? This is before the MCU. I think Annihilation came out either before Thanos was introduced in the MCU or even before the MCU. Annihilation's been out for a while, I think. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Um, but so, it's. I get your point when you're like, with Thanos, it's like, we have all these beings that are stronger than Thanos, but I think with the MCU, it's almost like, there's no one else they can use. <laughs> yeah, and being stronger than Thanos is even arguable because the way his power set is set up, my argument isn't necessarily being stronger. My argument is being the ultimate. And mm. by ultimate, I mean like the the only, the soul, the yeah. end all, the all yeah. of like baddies. It's like, yeah. essentially, from my point of view now, from what the MCU has shown us, it's like, uh, we have one more movie, where, or at least one more movie, I think one more movie, uh, where they're going to fight Thanos and most likely, you know, uh, defeat him. Mm. And we'll probably see uh, but now, but they thought he was dead. Now he's back in some form. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, and, but that, that's the thing. It's like, he's going to be the constant fixture. Yeah. And they may have two or three max uh, Avengers stories. I don't see what the MCU is going to do without him. I said, I got a good one for you. Yeah. Because I get your point, but I also, I'm going to uh, have a call back to the last episode. Thanos is now the bar. Like, you know what I mean? He's going to be where we look at the Joker now. Mm -hmm. So, with when we look at DC... Well actually, when we look at villains in general, he's always compared... They're always compared to Heath Leather's Joker. Mm -hmm. So, I think DC has the Joker. I think Marvel has Thanos. So, I agree. He, as of now, he's the end-all, be-all. He's the... Because for first, we were like, oh, Killmonger. Killmonger's that dude now. 
Mm-hmm. Like, because we, there weren't really a lot of strong villains in the MCU. Let's just call it like it is. That was been the weak point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now we have Thanos. So I think the overhypeness now is because there's two in two movies, two Marvel movies in a row. We finally had good villains, and but, he won. Yeah, and so yeah. but now it's just like, but where are the the um, the quasars? Where's the um, Adam Warlocks? Mm-hmm. Where's the um, well? There is a the there's an Adam Warlock Are reference. I heard, I heard that was scrapped though. I heard that they're not bringing him in because of um, James Gunn. So yeah. we can only hope. Pretty creepy dudes, man. You know, as, as Actually, yeah, no, he wasn't as, creepy. That was a nice one. Yeah, it was kind of yeah. it was it was it was suspect. It's yeah. like that. That's that. Okay, that's the real constant. That's the real overblown, overrated like villain of all this shit. At some point, we still can't can't get around like Hollywood. Um, uh, <laughs> ego, oh. stupidity, and 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 and, and touchiness. Yeah. You know, like that. That's the the concept that's going to affect all this shit. Yeah. And it is. It's 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 taking films that were in production, mm. had, and it's making them inconsistent mm. because dudes can't yeah. keep their hands to themselves. Could you went you went and touched so and so blank. You shared some pictures of of, of this. And now we got to put in the fourth freaking screenplay yeah. writer, right? Yeah. Oh, so, so like, we're um, doing fine. Then, oh shit, they're racist. Now we got to go back and. So, have, who's your overrated? My overrated character. You go movie, or you can go well, a comic book movie. I just read a comic book. Batman's movie. penis. Batman's penis. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's not wrong. As much as I love Batman, nobody's I talking about it. All the stories. <laughs> uh, that, they, that, they got rid of it. They um they edited it now, so you can't see Batman's penis. Another anymore. reason why I'm upset about that is that I did not buy a copy of that with the unedited penis. You wanted a copy just to like what, preserve Batman's dick over so, the years. When I collect my like I collect things, yeah. I don't open the shit. Like I collect things and I keep them in the box, not open. Right. So if I had that, I probably would never have seen this dick. I would just be happy to know that I have one of the few. Yeah, printed right. copies of Batman's dick and then 30 years from now selling on friggin future Amazon for $500 future Amazon it's, it's, a, it's a bad idea it's I mean in concept it, it sounds you, great you know like my business plan that's my retirement that was my my, my retirement brother, plan we would, we would talk actually I never finished that point did I um when we, went to, when we started talking about Spider-Man because I have the original um Secret Wars uh, uh, yeah, uh, original Secret War is still like shrink wrap. I might be glad you brought it up because I'm pretty sure Ethan has some comments on um, the scientific thing you brought up, which is hilarious. Oh, perfect. Can we can talk some science. Um, we can talk some science. Let's do it. Um, but uh, Secret Wars, I have those. I have the original uh, Secret Wars, and when they did the Secret, the new Secret War storyline yeah. uh, in the comics, I'm like, okay, those have been worthless for like ever um, because comics we think they're gonna be like worth a lot of shit. That lasts like a week, and then you know maybe a month. Like the biggest ones, like I've got Death of Superman, I can't unload them anyway. Well, and I got yeah. like three copies. Like I know I want to read it, but this is gonna be huge. I know it, and it was for a couple of months. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no one's trying to buy t- comics from a ten year old. Pro tip, you know what I'm saying pro tip. Yeah, if a comic book's very popular, mm-hmm. not that not that's just it's very popular, but if a lot of people are buying it, mm-hmm. don't collect. It. No, right? like don't. That, like, I learned that. No, I learned yeah, yeah. that with. I learned that with slot where it's like, I didn't know. I didn't know. You didn't see that? That didn't happen. Y'all, y'all ain't hear nothing clanking. Um, I did that with uh, with onslaught when it's like they were taking out Avengers left and right, and I'm like, okay, there's a shakeup in the Marvel universe, but there's a TV commercial about this, so everyone knows. So I'm gonna be smart and get the next issue because this is gonna be the one that no. Nah. Mm. So I've got a bunch of comics that at one point were worth a lot of stuff and are now worth like barely, like less than yeah. the, 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 the the price on the cover. But you gotta find but the ones that kind of like, gonna be the same. But you know what, you, the, but, what Marvel's been doing now recently? Yeah. Not Marvel, just not just Marvel, but Marvel and DC is they're now doing limited copies of certain things, mm-hmm. and then when they put up when they realize it's selling, they'll do reprintings and they'll put on there. Second print. Yeah. So there you go. And that's what you look for. And then you look Here's for rarity. And that's why I, I think... The hip-hop the, variants? The, then they... Those are going to be... Those hip-hop yeah. variants are going to be worth some money. Because they're actually limited. They were limited quantity. Batman, it wasn't meant to be limited. But yeah. it's limited because they stopped production. Right? Mm-hmm. So things like that, that's what I look for. So Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I was telling old man here. I was reading it on Comixology. Um, the Comixology app. And I noticed that it, it was never completed. It went up to like the eighth or ninth issue. Right, and it was really good, drawn really well, and I've been looking for it. I can't find it anywhere. I saw 
the eight issues that they have up on Comixology, like the actual physical copies at yeah. Comic Con in Rhode Island, and they were going for like thirty bucks each. Now, and it's not a new, it's not an old comic, right? This is, it's new, and they're and they're going for a certain amount because they're rare, and they ended they ended print. Mm. So things like that. This is a pro pro tip for collectors. All right. I know you know this, but I'm just saying, like for people listening. Yeah. So you're gonna go with Batman? Uh, Batman's dick being overrated. Yeah, because nobody's talking about it anymore. And I don't think anybody actually read the book, so. Um, Honestly, yeah. If they, if they try to do, like, a, it's like a new, um, it's like, it's like DC's Marvel Knights. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's You know, cool. and it's it's not necessary. Because uh, DC's had this. You just got to go outside the proper DC label yeah. to Vertigo, printed by DC. And there's a lot yeah. of DC Elseworld stories mm-hmm. that are pretty dark. Right? Yeah, like, no, there's, yeah, there's a bunch of them. Now, mind you, also... We're also like referencing you to check these things out with full knowledge that yeah, a good eighty percent of it is some of the shittiest like dreck you'll ever like subject yourself to. Mm. You gotta weed through that to find the good stuff, quote unquote good stuff. Mm. Like Batman turning into a vampire. So I went and looked up I like um, the Batman Damned Uncensored. Ninety nine dollars. Is that the Jesus Christ? See, it's already a hundred bucks. <laughs> It's and I've been saying this since. Oh, right. so I'm saying, I don't want to talk about it. Hey, I'm walking out. Look, look, look I'm walking the fuck out. <laughs> well, One hundred dollars. Does it make you feel any better that um, <laughs> Batman Uncensored at a nine point eight is um one hundred twenty dollars? Oh no, one hundred twenty nine dollars. <laughs> Jesus Christ, nine hundred and ninety five dollars. Yeah. When did those come out? Uh, I'm looking at these now. Um, blah, 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 blah. So because I'm internet illiterate. Um, well, it had to be within the last like few months. So. You know, this is why I didn't look up. I just want you to know I wasn't looking up the price of this book on purpose. It, my, my bad, dog. That's it's, right. it's the last. It's the last few months. You know what's gonna happen? Give it a year. No yeah, they'll about. drop down. They'll drop down. I tell yeah. people. Okay, look at look at this. Can one. we make a bet? Can we make what, a gentleman's bet? What I'm what now? What I'm getting at is you got to buy me a copy. What I'm getting at is <laughs> what I'm getting at is did you buy the copy back then? What do you mean? You didn't buy the. Copy. No, I didn't buy it. I I know I wanted to. So what benefit is it? Right now, yeah. except to get you heated and stressed to reflect on, well, I should have. It's a thing that you had thought about doing, you didn't do. No, bump it. Only reason it's, why I'm it's, upset. It's like, it's like, did you go left or did you go right? The only reason why I'm upset. Do you watch Doctor Who? The only reason why I'm upset. Do you watch Doctor Who? The only reason why I'm upset. All right, what? Why, why are you upset, my brother? It's because that's some shit I would have done. <laughs> like, I have a, like, I'm going to talk about All right. Did, do you watch Doctor Who? That, I, I. Not the last season, but yes, okay, but uh, you know, okay, no, yeah. uh, um, uh, I haven't watched Ro- a female who yet. Don't nah, judge nah, me. Nah, nah, yeah. Ro- 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 season, Rose yeah, season. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you remember the episode left uh, left turn, right turn? Who? Which doctor? Uh, this is uh, this is early ten. I don't remember the names again. I smoke a lot of weed. Right, but well, if whole, you start talking about it, I remember. The whole it. premise is um, wait, what was Tyler? Sorry, um, uh, Donna Noble. So this was uh, 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 first run Don Noble. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the premise of the episode is Don Noble's on her way to a job interview. Mm-hmm. Uh, she comes to a uh, comes to a stoplight, and her mother gives her mother calls her on the cell phone. Probabilities. Uh, yes. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Does she go left or does she go right? Mm-hmm, she mm-hmm. went left. Life changed. Met the doctor. Mm-hmm, all mm-hmm. type of stuff. Had she gone right, I think it was um, uh, uh, missed the job interview, car accident, but got a better job. Um, Husband, all that stuff, which is all she ever wanted, mm-hmm. and lived like a boring life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, not buying that comic, who's to say that that won't cause some kind of like implosion comics? We well, in my have, theory, have we, had, um, have we ever had? A, I think we had an alternate reality conversation on this one. Well, here you are. There you go. That's my theory. They created an alternate reality. There's an alternate reality where I bought that comic book. We, There's we, an alternate reality where you bought that comic book, and the next day, coming from the store, you were hit by a truck. Yeah, but there's also another alternate reality where I bought that comic book, got a time machine, went to the future where it was worth a million dollars, got that million dollars, came back, I don't know, bought a lot of food, because I'm a millionaire now. Yeah, that's true. There's also another alternate reality- I hate reality that fucking guy. Where right after you bought that comic, you were mugged by Batman, and then became the Joker. There you go. <gasps> but there's also- no, okay, well, no. <laughs> Let's not continue this infinite loop. There's just going to be in every, every one of those realities, I'm just rolling my eyes. Uh, I was going to say, the whole time you're sitting there with like your, your Stephen Strange head game. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how about funny. you? It's funny because um, in this article I wrote, I actually gave Doctor Strange Hero of the Year. 
Really? In really? Like, in terms of comic book movies, mm-hmm. I gave Doctor Strange Hero of the Year, and in, in every comic book movie, he was Hero of the Year because he was the one person who probably gave up the big, who was sacrificed the most out of every comic book movie we see last year. He sacrificed not only his life, um, on a, on a whim. Mm-hmm. He gave he sacrificed his life on a whim. But on top of that, his one job, one of his jobs, is to make sure that the Eye of Agamotto, this time stone, was secure. He was supposed. He's a protector of the time stone. And he stopped that job to to save the universe. Mm. No one sacrificed more than he did this year. Look, Can I also say fair, that the rest of the Avengers got in his way? He didn't need them. Yeah, that's my argument. Um, the yo, know, I, I I got so just accustomed to liking Peter Quill. You know, Star Lord was a likable dude, and the they, killer they, of half the universe. You mean? Yeah, they okay. cut all that down. In in twelve seconds, mm. you know, like like bro, seriously, con- all he had to do, all he had to do, and this was direct, this was blatant, and I don't know if uh, if um, uh, what's his name, if Chris, uh, if Chris uh, went to, if Chris Pratt, thank you, uh, went to like uh, some executive and said, look, uh, I don't want to do any more of these movies, and they said, well, you're, you're under contract, and instead of being like, okay, fine, or I guess I'll do it, or I'm unhappy about it, but I'll do it, he said, hey, fuck you, man, and walked out, and they're like, well, fine, we'll make you the most hated, um, you know, quote-unquote hero in this whole cadre and shit. Yeah, um, and no, but, after that, everybody was just flat out pissed. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's like the only time in that movie where... And it was uh, his plan! Not, yeah. It's 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 not like so, so wait. everything else. Everyone else, um, it, like it's not like every, everything else uh, came to a logical uh, uh, conclusion where it met a flaw. This is the one, the one time yeah. in what what has been a pretty well orchestrated uh, series of movies yeah. where no, they just wrote someone doing something that's just plain dumb ass. Well, let's not, and that's what resulted. Well, let's in not get it twisted. Let's not get that's it. one of the benefits of Marvel, though. Yeah, let's not get it too twisted. Uh, Peter then, Peter Quill. Yes. True to comic book form, mm-hmm. always says he has a plan. Never has a plan. All right, but, but this time, let's, let's, also, let's also put in, a, put in there that love and emotions will make you do things that are out of character. Yeah, I guess we could say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you 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 for, for, you got to think big picture for the, for the. It's easy to say. It's easy to say you got to think big picture, but I and I would love to be the one to say that if that happened and he killed my wife that I would stay calm in that situation. Mm. I, I would love to say that's the case, but I know that like I'm an emotional person, I'm an emotional creature, and I would probably, I would hope that I wouldn't react that way, but I probably wouldn't react in the same way as well. Like, but you know he's going to lose. All you have to do is take one extra breath just and then, make, and then you can beat the you can beat the purple. And off then of you get it. You yes, can beat the purple. Off I just of want it. to say, Drax the Destroyer, right? The person who had his entire family personally killed by Thanos. Oh shit! Who didn't, didn't overreact? Who, no, he overreacted too. He but that's his part of his character. And like then, he uh, is genetically then, well. In the, recently, he's been genetically compelled to kill Thanos, but he has a a, a sadistic and understandable need to kill Thanos, and he held it together at that point. Yeah. That's true. That that's absolutely that's true. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. so I always and so me trying to see both sides of the coin. I could also mm-hmm. see, for example, um, Thor mm-hmm. had a weapon that was strong enough to take the blast of the Infinity Gauntlet, the full power of the Infinity Gauntlet. Mm-hmm. And yeah. all he had to do that's not talked about enough, by the way. I rewatched Infinity War so and, saw, and and saw what he did with that. The freaking storm, hammer? Uh, Stormbreaker. It's not Stormbreaker, but let's call it Stormbreaker. Like, it's Stormbreaker it's, in the movie. It's but whatever. the movie. It's yeah. the version, man. It's, it's the, it's, it's, it's the ultimate long. hammer. It's the ultimate comic book's hammer. Yeah, yeah, Drake took on... Which I like, by the way. Me too. But, like, and, like, and then, like, he... And again, emotional. Yeah. Because if Thor wasn't emotional, he would have put that thing in his chest, and he would have chopped his hand off, and then he would have chopped his head off. Yeah. But because of Th- because of Thanos uh, destroyed... 50% of the Asgardians, one of them being his brother and one of his closest friends, Heimdall, mm. he got emotional. Mm. So there was a lot of emotional mistakes in that whole movie. It should be called um, Avengers um, Emotions. Um, if Davis would have destroyed, if Scarlet Witch would have destroyed the um, the uh, stone in his head immediately, 
we would not, we might not have had them any of the issues to begin with because Doctor Strange would have been like, okay, well, we have this, so he can't complete the gauntlet now if even if he doesn't get the time stone. Mm-hmm. So they're cool. I'll give her a little more of a pass because it's one thing to go after someone else who actively killed uh, uh, your 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 um, uh, your your soulmate, whatever you want to call it. But I, I see what one, you did there, yeah. soulmate, soul stone. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> But to actively be the one to kill them, that's a little different. That's, I mean, yeah, that's the that's the step I could see that would drive uh, uh, some Peter Quill-esque behavior. Mm. And even in that respect, all she did was take her, she kind of took her time. She dawdled. That was her mistake. Mm. She would have got him. She would have got him. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's the thing. Okay, maybe that's an underrated character if we want to talk about those. Scarlet Witch. One of the, uh, they, what they, was she they, doing they, up there? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Okoye had me dying when she said that. I was like, so, yeah. and that's uh, all right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did hold, you, hold, did you, hold, talk? Hold, wait, wait, wait. Quick, quick side yeah. thing. Since we're talking about that scene specifically, all right, because I've mentioned this to people, and no one has the recollection of like movies and comics to 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 go with me on this. And I feel like it's it's something that I think would have been a nice little oh shit uh, if the movie had done this. One quick scene where it's like they're on the battlefield, and you see where, um, uh, where, uh, where, um, no, not Black Panther, um, fucking Black Widow, uh, where Black Widow turns and Okoye turns, and they look at each other and just kind of give the, and you know, continue on. If that hadn't been Okoye, if that had been Ayo instead, and that would have been like a nice little acknowledgement from, um, yeah, from like when they met up and they Move. were like, you know, yeah, you know, oh, you will be moved, yeah. You know, I thought that would have been a nice. For the record, one of my favorite moments in Marvel Comics history, Marvel yeah. Comics MCU history, yeah, yeah. was like just flat out. And she wasn't playing either. Nah, was I want. I really want to see who yeah, won that so. fight because I, I <laughs> yeah, listen. Been, Laura oh, Milaje yeah. is their beast. Yeah, we know. Like, who we know. We know. But I. But here's the thing. Yes, she would. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I don't want to just disrespect my Dora Milaje at all. Peace. They they raised to be beast. But Black Widow. They say Black Widow from the comics, too. I know, but 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 here's the thing, and we've been saying that a lot. We've been saying that a lot of these characters are underpowered compared to their comic so book, you know. Arts. But I feel like they've been kind of slowly changing that. Like Scarlet Witch, the thing, so Scarlet Witch was holding back Thanos, mm-hmm. right, while destroying an Infinity Stone without breaking a. Sw- she was not. She was not sweating. She yeah. was crying. She was hurt. She was crying. So I think they were giving her. Her OP, like slowly giving her her OP status from the comic book, right? Yeah, but and then she's we see been building up because they have her as a kid, you know. True, but she was still I, Scarlet, which as a kid should be able to friggin', you know, single handedly beat Thanos. In my let's, opinion, uh, right? like, let's point out something that a lot of people don't know. Doctor Doom is actually one of the reasons why uh, Scarlet Witch was so overpowered during the House of Them thing. That's not her her regular power set. It's more probability that it is like reality altering. Well, okay, her ability to alter reality in the House of M storyline was beyond anything. Like, that's infin- that's Infinity Stone level. Yeah, yeah but it's also it. helped with... I can't remember... It's in um, a crossover with the Young Avenger where they talk about where um, Richter actually gets his powers yeah. in that series. But Doctor Doom has a hand in making her so powerful. Yeah, but, but I mean, normal level hex magic Scarlet Witch is nothing to sniff at. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Right. Yeah, like, she's, yeah, yeah. you know okay. what I mean, she's out there scaring Avengers and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she's... She's scary strong, regardless. Um, oh, my overrated character of the year was um, Tony Stark. Yeah. Overrated? I mean, I... I I'm just talking movies, though. I'm just talking movies. For that, that fight scene between him and Thanos? Just in general. Like, I don't really... See, like, he's a great character. Yeah. But in terms of, like, what he can do, he's... He's not... Okay. Perfect example. We saw what Cap did when Thanos tried to crush him. Yeah, he's peak level. He's ab- above peak level strength. He's not Hulk, and he was like, and Thanos was like, yeah. whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, and he had to use the opposite. He had to slap him with the other pimp hand to get him off him because he realized he wasn't gonna do that. Yeah. With all of Iron Man's tech and powers, he couldn't come up. With, he couldn't even come up with the plan that the sixteen year old kid did to take out the Maw. Come on, man. Mm. Like you know what I mean? Like that. Like I, my I agree over, with you. I agree with you. Like yeah, I think my overrated character for 2018 in the movies yeah. is Tony Stark. 
So do you think that maybe do you think Robert Downey Jr. is old? But do you think they're bringing him? Maybe. I agree with you. I agree with you, one hundred percent. But current Tony Stark, at least Tony, not current Tony, Tony Stark since um, Superior Iron Man, right? Yes. He's gotten he's gotten a power boost. Um, I'm, not talk, a boost. I'm not I'm talking about yeah, yeah. comic book Tony Stark. Yeah, okay, I'm yeah, yeah. Specifically, yeah, yeah. specifically talking MCU yeah, 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 yeah. Tony Stark. Yeah. I think <laughs> I, I'm gonna get shit for this. I think comic book Tony Stark. Is amazing. Mm-hmm. I think fans of Tony Stark over exaggerate what he can do. Yeah, I think he lasted way too long and can stay in those by himself. Ah, uh, yeah. Even with the new nano suit. Yeah. Mm. I mean, he can't. You're not beating the Maw, dude. You, you shouldn't be able to take. Like, yeah, every yeah, Maw, yeah. I think was they were smart the way he was defeated because you're not lasting a fight that long. With the ma, and they were like, "Nah, get him out of here now." But did we talk <laughs> about this on the show, or I might have read this um, somewhere that that fight was shortened for technical reasons? We they might. I don't think I remember hearing that. But... So a fight between Ebony Ma, Spider Man, Iron Man, and Doctor Strange inside of a ship. I think they were having difficulties figuring out how they were going to pull that off, right, and make it look epic. And I think they decided to pull an aliens reference. It makes so sense with that. Go through the whole what yeah. was originally their plan. They were thinking of ways of making that fight more epic, hmm. but it was kind of. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of like the way it went down. Yeah, so they could have really fed it in, and yeah. again, that's a, that's an aliens Easter egg. Hmm. And I like the fact that they did that because it's like let's not force something that doesn't need to be there. Yeah. And let's take oh god because I remember we started talking about Justice League and the good gift and the curse about it, and I got the pleasure of watching Javi see that movie for the first time. Mm. Here, oh, okay. Here. And he was all for it <laughs> until the giant fight scene for the mother boxes. And should have been that movie. Should, that should, that should have been, been Justice League. It should have been. And I would have liked to have seen all those cameos that they hinted at show up out of, yo, Green Lantern Corps, let's do it. Yeah. There was you a know? Green Lantern in Justice League. It just so happened that it, yeah. it, it, it was. It's like the one scene, Man. he said you would come. Scene. And then we don't see who he's talking about or that scene from the movie in general. <sighs> There's so much wrong. So yeah, so um, Ryan Reynolds came out of nowhere. That would have been great. That would have been terrible. Don't 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 don't. don't. So um, that was your that actually, was overrated. Hold, hold up. If if John Stewart makes an appearance, played by Idris Elba, I would be okay with that. As long as they're Tyrese. As long as they're Tyrese. As long as they're Tyrese. Was it was it possible that it could have been Tyrese? Well, for a while there was um there were he wants to play he wanted to play Luke Cage and I would have boycotted anything having to do with Tyrese and Luke Cage, and now he's. I don't know if he's still doing it, but I know he was also try he was saying he wanted to play uh John Stewart and there, there's there's no black sure characters at least that I can think of um that Tyrese could play. Uh, he can't, he can't, he can't he play can't, one he, of um the Rogue Gallery Luke Cage Rogue Galleries from the seventies. Uh yeah, we don't we don't talk about that. I mean you No, know, he he can't he can't be he can't he, he for damn sure can't be uh John Stewart, he can't be uh John Henry Irons, he can't be Mr. Terrific. So, um, so Peter Quill is a is a jokey character. To yeah. begin with. Like he he has some comic relief to him, right? But that's, but, that's even like more recent than exactly. Than and else. he's been gruff. He's been like he's been moments where he was just like PTSD'd out, right? Like he half man, half machine, right? So when they when they say that uh, who put, who's playing Peter Quill right now? Uh, uh, Chris Pratt. Chris. When they when well, they I cannot remember his name because it's a Hemsworth and an Evans. <laughs> yeah, when they when they when they cast Chris Pratt as 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 Peter Quill, I couldn't see it. To be honest with you, I'm like, well, yeah, because he was. But then the he started working out, from, yeah, and you know whatever, and it worked. Joey, dude, I think that was the I think dude, was, the MCU. Like you know what I'm saying? You see this? I am not. I am not superhero fit. If the people behind you the also MCU, don't have a million dollars, millions of dollars to take off of work and just yeah. do nothing but work out. Fair <laughs> point. Challenge accepted. You yeah, give yeah. me the million, I will make this. Happen. Well, you should. You have some of the like, minds. If behind. You give me the million dollars, I'll look like Chris Evans in Fantastic Four. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I'm saying. So the MC, MCU took the time, the guns, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Whedon, the Whedons of the world, right? They they took they take their time to kind of mold these characters with the people that they're casting. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm a little iffy on who they casted for um, Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, but I trust MCU. I trust the minds behind the MCU enough, MCEU enough, right, to go like, all right, this might work. They've done it before. Mm-hmm. A person like Tyrese. You think he could? You think he could pull it together? Not, not. 
DC, okay. I don't trust the DC, DCU to do anything. To be honest with you, <laughs> no, I'm surprised. I, I, like, I, I would be right there with you yeah. un, uh, until we got uh, Gal Gadot as um, as one woman. Yeah, but they still shit it on that. Like I think she. No, no, they they did totally, but you but know she that still the ending came to show and prove. He, and they had a great director, great, great, great everything around that movie. And great the actress. Ten minutes of that movie, they DCEU'd it up. Yo, it's still produced. Come on, I'm, come I'm, on, I'm, yeah, hey, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm, hey, put a dress on this turd. Go ahead. He I'm started this conversation with me acknowledging I'm not going to make eight hundred and twenty-one point eight million dollars DC movies. Um, that's oh my god, no, that's how much the movie made. Wonder Woman. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. Okay. So I, was gonna, I want. Uh, this is gonna probably piss everyone off. It's probably stopped this movie dead in its tracks. Yeah. Wonder Woman made eighty-one eight hundred twenty-one point eight million dollars domestic. Damn. Would you like to know how much Venom made? Domestic oh, or international? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would love to know how much Venom made. Oh, so domestic, domestic or domestic? Just, okay, just go domestic. Ahead, go just go domestic. Go ahead, go ahead. So Wonder Woman for the audience: eight hundred and twenty-one point eight million dollars no, domestic. Gonna hurt. Uh-huh. Venom made eight hundred fifty-five point two million. Yo, come on, man! <laughs> really? Are you serious? Yes. And Venom wasn't even a bad movie, but, <laughs> but yo. Javi, you got some way to be today? <laughs> Yo, what, you, Javi, this has been the Old Man Wade yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to thank... Yeah, yeah, I, wanna, no. <laughs> uh, I just watched Venom recently, by the way. Oh, so, you've already seen it? This, this, yeah. this... Oh. <laughs> Damn it, Venom. Damn it, Wade.